Hello everyone and welcome to our Banking Awareness, Financial Awareness uh, revision session. This is our third such session. Today we'll be taking up May and June and by that we will be covering six months which is very important for your exams. Let's get started. Uh, we will have the same same format. You know the drill already. You will pause the video, try to answer the question and then look at the answer which I provide. Okay, here you go. Here are your answers. POS is point of sales. C stands for commodity in exchange traded commodity derivative ETCD that is LCR is liquidity coverage ratio. LR is leverage ratio here. FDI is foreign direct investment. C stands for consumer and consumer price index. There are of two kind urban and rural. Then you also have the third which is combined. So when you see the C don't get worried. A here in SAR is system audit report. It could be also suspicious activity report yeah so just be careful know the context what is asked w stands for wholesale in wholesale price index financial benchmark administrator that's the full form for fba i think this is circular by rbi in late june fof stands for fund that's a fund of funds and f here first is fund try these now Okay, here are our answers. L stands for laundering in Go anti-money laundering. Go is set of you know, apps developed by a Vienna group. This is for international uh, level. This is countries will have to track the anti-money laundering activities. This is a app which uh, facilitates that process. Default in is issuer default rating, that's IDR. MDR is merchant discount rate. We all know that CICO is uh, related to your financial inclusion. This is cash in cash out, something that needs to be promoted. BSBD, that's basic savings bank deposit. Lakshmi Villa was supposed to merge with India Bull Housing Finance. Uh, RBI has put a stop to this. India, uh, Indus IND Bank and Bharat Financial Inclusion Limited are the two merge entities which will be effective from uh, July 4th, Federal Bank is the bank which has raised 300 crore for Basel III compliant bonds for improving their risk management techniques. Rupees 5 lakh is the maximum withdrawal amount that needs to be charged for service fee of minimum 100 rupees at Canara Bank. They have also again Canara Bank has allowed three times per month. Yeah, that's uh, how many times you can do the cash deposit up to 50,000. Yeah, free of charge. Again, try these now. Okay, here again answer is Canara Bank uh, has recently issued new rules of cash deposit and cash withdrawal which just saw in the last slide. Industrial Development Bank of India has signed bank assurance with Tata AIG. ICICI Bank has signed an MOU with National Health Agency to train 15,000 state and district personnel. R.S. Chibber was the one who was the MD and chairman of JNK Bank helped the board to get to this JNK RTI Act. Karur Vyasa Bank is partnered with Centrum Wealth Management to form private limited joint venture to provide wealth management services to its client. Flipkart, uh, Sachin Bansal is the co-founder of the Flipkart. He is now supposed to join Ujjivan Small Bank, uh, Finance Bank as independent director. Axis Bank is the private bank who has appointed Rakesh Makhij as non-executive part-time chairman for three-year period. ICICI Bank has launched a center in Bangalore to provide business solution exclusively for startups and MSMEs. Suryodaya Small Finance Bank has partnered with Ashok Leyland, Hinduja Group flagship for providing loan vehicle loans. And FinCare Small uh, uh, Finance Bank and Kukmin Bank are the new bank which are added to the second schedule of RBI Act 1934. Kukmin Bank, can someone tell me uh, where is its headquarter? Try these now. Okay, here are your answers. Yes, bank has conducted first ever e-auction of the forest produce in Dhanora Mahasang in Maharashtra under its Tech for Change initiative. SBI is the first to introduce a repo linked home product uh, effective 1st July. We have seen it in our PDFs, uh, other sessions also. Yes, bank uh, organize, uh, organizations, former interim managing director and CEO Ajay Kumar and independent director Mukesh Sabharwa has resigned. We know they were going through a lot of trouble. Industrial Development Bank of India, IDBI, has become onboarded corporate agent for the first time with Max Bopa, a standalone health insurer. 
Now, yes, bank and zip cash card service were fined yeah, by RBI for violating norms pertaining to issuing and operations. ICICI Bank has reported the highest number of fraud in last 11 fiscal years, 2008, 9, 2, uh, and 2018, 19. Between these MSME loans, uh, what we are talking about, Bank of Baroda and ESL Finance, they have signed an agreement to provide it. Right? State Bank of India has become the first bank which has linked its deposit account and short-term loan to its external bench benchmark. Yes, Bank has slipped three notches to 10 spot in the most valued bank and see a lot of trouble there. Yes, Bank has now going to avail AI supported touchless technology from AI based HR solution provider Talo City for hiring process and to attain high quality talent. This is something very new. Try these. Here are your answers. GoEbibo ICICI Bank Travel Card is the one which is the multi-currency card that has been launched by ICICI Bank in collaboration with online booking portal GoEbibo. Citibank has uh, partnered with digital payment company Paytm and launched its first cash back driven credit card called Paytm First Card. HDFC has collaborated with IMGC for a mortgage guarantee back home loan. Nainital Bank, uh, that was uh, the one which was penalized by RBI for not able to automate the NPI identification process. HDFC Affordable Real Estate Technology Heart, that's the uh, you know uh, term launched uh, yeah, by HDFC Capital Advisor. That's an initiative. Its objective is to mentor, partner, and invest in real estate technology companies. KBLSB Salary is the new product launched by Karnataka Bank for salaried class. State Bank of India has collaborated with FMCG Arm of the Art of Living to provide the discount of 15% to its customer. ICICI Bank is said to buy stake in India International Exchange, a subsidiary of BSE. Corp SME Subida is the name of the product launched by the Corporation Bank for GST registered MSME. Standard Chartered Bank has collaborated with IBM to trade AI, yeah, AI engine. Uh, which will automate the high risk process of trade documentation. Moving ahead, try these. Okay, here are your answers. Stray Equipment Finance is the one which has tied up with OBC Bank to offer loan and uh, for purchase of equipment under co-lending agreement. Indian Overseas Bank has started this mobile uh, van facility called Bank on Wheels to provide door-to-door -door banking facility. IDFC First Bank has partnered with Honda Motorcycle and Scooter for providing financial uh, financing solution to vehicle across the country. Coinex, that's the crypto ex uh, currency exchange which has you know, terminated its digital assets trading service citing regulatory uncertainty and disruptions. Oracle is the name of the entity which has launched a tool called Anti-Money Laundering Express Edition to detect, investigate, report suspected money laundering and terrorist financing activities. Tech Mahindra has signed a contract with Airbus for cabin and cargo design engineering. Sundaram Finance is set to acquire the stake uh, to acquire the stake held by BNB Paribas and two joint venture companies for a total of 1000 crore. Maruti Suzuki has signed the preferred financier MOU with Bank of Baroda to improve credit for dealer inventory financing. Revigo Logistic has launched this national freight index to provide unrestricted access of live freight rates for different lane and vehicle across the country, would bring in a lot of transparency. And Skylark Drone uh, has launched India's first drone, Patang, with NPNT. This is no permission, no takeoff. Which, who was the minister? Which ministry does this come in? Uh, under which these policies were make, uh, made related to drones? Can someone tell that? Try these. Okay, here are your answers. 9.5% uh, would be the rate charge. Yeah, that would be the rate charge to the sellers at Flipkart to uh, avail loan up to 3 crore from 10 NBFCs. Okay, that's the their program. That's uh, called financing program. Basically, that's called growth capital. The growth capital, that's uh, from Flipkart. Microsoft Corporation is the parent organization of GitHub that has acquired Pull Panda, a US startup that creates code review tool for the platform. Amazon India is the country's most attractive employer brand for year 2019 as per the report Randstad Employer Brands 
research. Calibra was uh, the subsidiary of Facebook that was introduced to provide financial services for a user to participate in Libra network. Yeah, Libra was going to be the name of the cryptocurrency. This has uh, gone into a lot of trouble. Yeri Fernando Mina Gonzalez was uh, the new uh, brand ambassador for two-wheeler company Hero Motor Corp. I think he's a footballer. Bharti Airtel Limited and Vodafone Idea Limited, they were penalized by Digital Communication Commission, uh, Commission for denying Reliance Geo Infocom adequate point of interconnections in 2016. LNT Finance uh, has launched Subse Cast Loan Scheme for two wheeler customers. Shahrukh Khan is the one, uh, the new brand ambassador for Viva Food, they, the new brand called V Nourish. Try these. Okay, here are your answers. Bajaj FinServ, yeah, that's uh, the financial company which has partnered with Motherhood Hospital, National Network of Women and Child Hospital. Sri Lankan Airlines are named as the most punctual airline by flight data analysis company flightstat.com. Larson and Turbo is the electrical, in, uh, electrical and automation business, has acquired Snyder Electric India Private Limited and Mac. Ritchie Investments. International Center for Automotive Technology has released India's first type approval certificate for Bharat Stage 6, BS6 norm for two-wheeler and the first one to receive that is Hero Motor Corp. Confetti is the first interactive game show launched by Facebook announcing, announced during Facebook Social Entertainment, Entertainment Summit held in Mumbai, Maharashtra. Mahindra Group is uh, the automobile maker brand which has received the gold award from South Africa's National Automobile Dealer Association. Casio India is the entity has appointed Bollywood actor Tiger Shroff as brand ambassador. Zest Money is the startup which is partnered with Digital Insurance to offer EMI uh, insurance to companies 5 million customers. Dell has stopped the report titled Brand Trust Report 29 became the most trusted brand in India as per Trust Research Advisory. Try these. Okay, here are your answers. Reliance Industries uh, lead the list of 57 Indian companies and is ranked 71st globally in world 2000 largest company compiled by Forbes. Blackstone Group is going to acquire 97.7% stake in Aadhaar Housing Finance Limited. Accenture uh, has joined hand with Director General uh, of Training with Cisco to skill youth for digital economy through industrial training institutes. Fund Bazaar is a mutual fund platform which has launched Selfie Wala KYC for the first time. It would feature your uh, first time mutual fund investor for completing their KYCs. PayPal India is the first online payment system that has launched one-touch one experience using Google Smart Lock Frogging India. IT outsourcing deal, India's largest telecom operator, that's Vodafone, has signed a five-year multi-million dollar deal with IBM. Mahindra has roped in Virat Kohli and Anushka Sharma for its first official as its first official brand ambassador. 700 crore was the amount raised by SBI card from bank and financial institution to grow above industrial average. The blockchain based service launched by Microsoft is Azure. Petroleum Conservation Research Association, Association PCRA has signed MOU with tractor and farm equipment and the brand ambassador for it is yeah. Uh, you can tell me in the comment section. Try these. Okay. Here are your answers. Huge Communication India, uh, the, the largest broadband uh, satellite network uh, and service provider that has agreed to merge with Bharti Airtel Broadband Satellite or VSAT business to improve operational efficiencies. Australia is the country from where we have this Qantas Airways which has operated world first zero waste commercial flight named QF739. Bharat Pay is a technology that has launched India's first UPI Bahikhata, Digital Ledger. Hamley Global Holding, a British toy company, was acquired by Reliance Brand for $88.6 million. London has been selected as a center to develop WhatsApp mobile payment services by WhatsApp Pay. Yeah, that's uh, WhatsApp Pay. Bharat Sanchar Nagam Limited 
is the telecommunication company that partnered with Google for expanding its uh, expanding its uh, Wi-Fi footprint. Tech Mahindra is the information technology company which has recently signed MOU with France-based digital content publishing firm Rakuten Akofadas to build customer experience offering. Geneva, Switzerland would have been uh, is the place basically for uh, Facebook Global Holding registered new cryptocurrency name Libra Network uh, Limited. Ola Money SBI credit card that's uh, the credit card launched by Ola in collaboration with SBI. An HDFC group of companies has surpassed Tata Group in term of market capitalization and become the first most valuable uh, business house but please note the, these will depend upon the share prices so they have to ask you along with the date yeah try these okay here are your answers i think i asked you who was the brand ambassador for tafe that's akshay kumar adani port and special economic zone apsez will set up its first container terminal outside india and myanmar motival Oswal Asset Management Company has become first Indian fund to house to launch WhatsApp transaction platform for mutual fund transactions. SpiceZ has recently become fourth to have 100 aircraft fleet department for promotion of industry and internal trade is the one which is the nodal office for 18 member working group chaired by Ramesh Chandra to revise current WPI. Yeah, the next question WPI who is the chair that's Ramesh Chandra. Ramesh Abhishek is the head of the newly constituted committee for ensuring interministerial coordination and resolving issues related to e-commerce. UK Sena, we have read what some hundred times already. MSME related, yeah, measure for the economic and financial sustainability of MSMEs. Again, eight-member panel on MSME constituted by RBI. This is UK Sena. Kirit Parekh is a five-member panel constituted by Central Government of India to review existing marketing structure of LPG. Try these some more committees. Here are your answers. Nandan Nilankani is the one related for all promoting the digital payment, right? So he suggested that 24-7 RTGS, NEFT, etc. Then he also asked to rope in local uh, retailers, business correspondent as cash point, right? Sunil Mehta, Sashakt, yeah, uh, committee that recommended RBI changes for integrated agreement. VG Kannan is about to review ATM pricing, yeah. Committee on currency movement has asked to grout automated tailor machine to wall pillar or floor. Yeah. Nandan Nilankani again for promoting the uh, digital payment. Surjit Bhalla, elephant bond. I think we have done this. C Rang Rajan also we have done. They asked to merge CSO and NSSO. Yeah, that's May 1 National Statistic Office. R Khan is the one who has uh, suggested significant changes to foreign portfolio investor regulatory. Yeah, uh, SEBI constituted. TN Manoharan is the six member uh, head of the six member panel on secondary market for corporate loan constituted by RBI. Yeah, now try these. Okay, here are answer. 8.6% will be the senior citizen saving scheme for July September quarter. Red color coding were uh, you know as per FSI with food having high fat, high sugar, and salt content. Nagaland was having the highest unemployment rate as per NSSO title periodic labor survey 1718 elephant bond was Surjit uh, Bhalla. RK Singh constituted the three member panel to develop uh, or say to resolve dispute set up a mechanism to uh, resolve dispute between private solar wind power developer public solar sector and NTPC. 7.5 lakh is the credit guarantee fund scheme for educational loan yeah by IBA that will be given to the meritorious student. 81 lakh houses were approved by Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana. That's, that's the old news. It has been updated. National Thermal Power Corporation and Power Grid Corporation of India Limited yeah, are the two entities that have signed agreement to set up National Electric Distribution Company Limited. 2022 is the idea to double farmer income using your Krishi Vigyan Kent and Agriculture Technology Management Agency Atma. Yeah, just look at this also. Israel was the country with which we were signed spike anti-tank missile, but we have scrapped this and our DRDO I think is saying they can develop it on their own. Okay, try these now. Okay, 2025 is the year when India wants to eradicate, end yeah, tuberculosis. Uh, your uh, National Institute of Transformation 
India, that's Niti Aayog, was the one which organized the economic policy, the road ahead to ask for the ways to achieve that $5 trillion economy mark. 22 railway stations have signed a memorandum of understanding, basically, and a memorandum of agreement to renovate yeah, stations to be renovated. Uh, 2025 is the year by which Niti Aayog planned uh, to transit two wheelers with an engine capacity of less than 150 cc to full electric vehicles. Not sure if they will uh, happen. Yeah, we have seen the backlash uh, from the four wheeler community, right? Manufacturing community, National Accreditation Board for Certification Bodies, NABCB. Yeah is the one which has got uh, which has got his international recognition for accreditation program for personal certification bodies during asia pacific accreditation corporation annual meeting 2020 is the year yeah uh, from which 35th good and service council decided to introduce electronic invoicing system in phase wise manner for b2b transaction two years is the time that's been extended for national anti profiteering authority in the fifth uh, meeting of the GST Council, headed by Nirmala Sitaraman, again this was uh, your in New Delhi, yeah, FSDC Financial Stability Development Council, that also was chaired by our FM. Try these now. Yeah, continuing from the previous slide, FSDC meeting also happened in New Delhi. NASCOM is the one which has signed an MOU with ICANN, that's Internet Corporation for Assigned Name and Numbers for Research Engagement Activity that will foster innovation in Internet and fire technologies. UK Sina again, 10 to 20 lakh MSME collateral free loans. 2030 is the time when sale of only electric vehicle will be permitted in India as per the proposal given by Niti, but we saw again the backlash. Yeah, I think uh, this won't be done anyways. Uh, Bihar has the lowest rate of female workforce participation as per periodic labor force survey data published by NSSO. 2024 is going to be the year to make India the 5 trillion economy. Now National Defense Fund, that is the fund under which in the first meeting of the cabinet, Prime Minister approved major changes uh, in the Prime Minister's scholarship uh, scheme, that's under National Defense Fund. 3000 is the monthly pension approved for the small trader, business and shopkeepers. Yeah, we know for even for the unorganized sector and also for the pharma, different schemes. Yeah. Mm. What was the unemployment rate in India for the year 2017-18 as per the survey conducted by National uh, Sample Survey Organization 6.10? 3.4 was uh, the fiscal deficit target which was met uh, by the government. Yeah, they reduced their uh, spending. Uh, seriously uh, towards the end towards the last quarter yeah and someone tell me what is the target for next year try these okay here are the answer ONGC yeah is the one which has become India's most profitable PSU after surpassing Indian Oil Corporation Indian Oil Corporation has signed an agreement with BPCL and Hindustan Petroleum Corporation for laying world's longest liquefied petroleum gas pipeline from Kandala, Gujarat to Gorakhpur, Uttar Pradesh. Boeing is the organization which has signed with Airport Authority of India to jointly develop 10-year roadmap. Tamil Nadu has signed a loan agreement of 287 million with World Bank for promoting state health system and reform program. Digital Sakhi is the name of the educational program launched by LNT Financial Services in Tamil Nadu aimed at financial inclusion of rural women. We are talking about the uh, service sector where FDI has grown 36.5% amounting to 9.15 billion in 1819 as per DPIIT, Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade. Confederation of Indian Industry, CII has launched new index to measure fiscal performance, title fiscal performance index. Delhi Metro Rail Corporation yeah, is uh, the one which has become first ever project to receive power from waste to energy plant, 283.37 million ton yeah, food gain production as per the third advanced estimate of production of major crop 1819. Meghalaya uh, Autonomous Development Count has met 15th Finance Commission headed by Encasing. This is important. Encasing, we saw its uh, timeline were also increased recently. Right? Try these now. Okay. Name the bill introduced to promote ease of doing business in India. That's New Delhi International Arbitration Center Bill 2019. Under which scheme farmers are expected to contribute 100 per month? That's Pradhan Mantri Kisan Pension Yojana. 
revised employee state insurance contribution rate from 6.5% to 4%. What is the new third party motor insurance premium for small and medium private car from 2019 revised by RDAI that's 12 to 12.5%. Which missile manufacturing company has signed contract with Indian Navy worth 1188 crore for supply of heavyweight torpedoes? Varunastra, that's Bharat Dynamic Limited. Garden Research Building and Engineer, this was there in the news, yeah, has got this contract of 6311.30 crores, yeah. Uh, yeah, they have signed the contract with Defense Minister to build eight anti submarine warfare shallow uh, watercraft. Right, Bharat Heavy Electric Limited, that's the Indian firm that has signed an MOU with Automotive Research Association of India for implementing different projects related to e-mobility. Udyam is the name of the Skill Development Center launched by LIC Housing Finance Limited in association with Lok Bharti Education Society for providing training in sectors of BFSI, Retail, IT, ITS. Good and Service Tax Network. Department has joined agreements with Income Tax Department for decreasing black money generation. Yeah, so GST and your Income Department, they, they will all share uh, the data. In fact, I think SEB will also be providing them the data. Uh, Dr. Krishna Murthy Subramanyam, yeah, is the C. We have read about him, yeah, in the previous uh, uh, lecture as well. Try to answer these now. Okay, here are your answers. Uh, which departments has a relaxed income tax rule in order to facilitate fundraising by the startup, which is part of Startup Vision 2024. That's Department of Promotion of Industries and Internal Trade. Sacrine, yeah, uh, from Indonesia is the product, yeah, uh, on which the anti-dumping duty has been imposed by government. Shortage in low corporate tax collection was a major reason for, you know, direct tax collection falling down, yeah. Ministry of Commerce has organized two day long interaction with embassies of 11 African countries, yeah, nations to deepen India-Africa relationship. Uh, to which sector does India-Japan IIC food signed MOU recently? That was poultry farm. Name the country whose bilateral trade with India sector of merchandise and service has grown by 12.6% to 126 billion, yeah, from 126 billion in 2017 to 142 billion in 18, that's US. Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Custom yeah, has organized a meeting of Regional Head of Custom Administration of Asia Pacific of the World Custom Organization. Cochin was a place where Regional Head of Custom uh, Administration of Asia Pacific region, yeah, they met. Gaya Ladakh, that's the place in Jammu and Kashmir where India's first ice cafe is located, created by Border Road Organization and Infosys. Uh, foundation, yeah, was uh, its registration was cancelled by Home Ministry for violating norms receiving foreign grants. Try these. Okay, here are your answers. Which has become the first state in India to list masala bond in overseas market? That's Kerala. Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana was the flagship uh, program launched by Pradhan Mantri Narin Modi to provide crop insurance to farmer. Mobile phones, yeah, uh, the refurbished uh, imported product is allowed in India after receiving certification from Bureau of International Standards. Ministry of Consumer Food and Public Distribution, yeah, uh, is the national standard, uh, your uh, ministry under which the national standard body of India Bureau of Indian Standard works. Ministry of Statistics and Program uh, Implementation, MOSPI, is the one which is organizing the seventh edition of economic census yeah uh, deadline set by food safety and standard authority for small organic producer having turnover of 12 lakh to sell their product directly to customer without certification is april 2020 tech mahindra has signed a defense contract worth 300 crore with indian navy to implement radio frequency identification based access control system Anil Kakotkar and Siddharth Pradhan has recommended strategy to reduce oil import while submitting their report to Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas Dharmendra Pradhan. Central Statistics Office and the National uh, Survey Office are merged to create this. Yeah, NSO. I hope you remember under whose recommendation this was. Wirecard is the global internet technology and financial service provider which collaborated with India to issue permanent account number. 
cards, PAN cards basically. Try these. Directorate General of Foreign Trade has permitted, uh, has to permit biofuel import like ethyl alcohol, biodiesel and petroleum. It works under Ministry of Commerce and Industry. What is the purchase limit of cheaper car for officer category of defense personnel excluding GST as per the new restriction imposed by CSD canteen? That's 12 lakh. Which ministry has publicized, publicized comprehensive draft of the export policy consisting of food specific rule that will act as ready reckoner? That's commerce ministry. Which entity has signed MOU with ministry of MSME for the year 1920 to provide enhanced services? That NSIC, National Small Industry Corporation Limited. How much billion dollar is invested in India through FDI as per DPIIT? That's US dollar 44.37. Which country's oil import was terminated by India after US waiver expired? That's Iran. Which of the following countries signed tripartite pact with Sri Lanka to develop East Container Terminal? That's India and Japan. India has uh, rem been removed by the US uh, currency monetary list along with Switzerland. Kerala will be now able to export fruits and vegetables to Saudi Arabia and Railtail was uh, the entity which signed MOU with Ra Indian Railways for modernizing of signaling system on four sections. Try these. Okay, insurance news now. Which insurance company has partnered with MobiQuick and launched Sampu Chasse concept to offer mini medical insurance product with premium as low as 20? That's Max Bupa, Max Life Smart Term Plan. Yeah launched by Max Life Insurance Company that will offer customer flexibility to customize their own protection solution. Again, Max Life Insurance Company has launched a unique uh, protection, yeah, my protection, yeah, uh, caution to ensure financial protection. Max Life Insurance General Company Limited is commemorated six day of each month has decided to commemorate six day of each month as protection day to raise awareness about financial protection. HDFC Ergo General Insurance has uh, you know, launched this term mosquito disease protection policy. Yeah, cover against common mosquito borne diseases. This is interesting. Bharti Airtel has tied up with Housing Development Financial Corporation Life to provide life co cover to its prepaid customers. HDFC Ergo again in news. Yeah, is the general insurance company that has partnered with IBM to provide or set up a data lab in India to improve business efficiency and profitability. Bajaj Fincer, yeah, has launched a special insurance cover called Mumbai Local Train Cover for passenger traveling in local train in Mumbai. Bharti AXA Life Insurance, yeah, was conferred Claim Excellence Award by Federation of Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Max Bupa, yeah, I think this is the repeat and only nine news item here. Yeah, so that's again Sampo Shafe revision. Chalo, try these now. Okay, here are answers. Uh, name the first Gulf country which has launched the new anti-money laundering platform GoML developed by United Nations Office on Drug uh, and Crime. That's United Arab Emirates. That's interesting. Bangladesh has uh, the emerged as the fastest growing economy among 45 countries of the East uh, Asia Pacific region as per ADB. Niger was the country where, to which India gave 15 million. Yeah. Uh, to organize African Union Summit for the first time. Ireland is the country which is set to ban petrol and diesel car from 2030. $200 million is the amount of uh, you know, granted as line of credit to Kyrgyzstan by Indian government. Venezuela is the country which is set to release 10,000, 20,000 and 50,000 denomination for racketing hyperinflation which eroded currency value. Asian Development Bank has joined hand with Multilateral Investment Guarantee Agency. This is the sister agency of World Bank Group. Yeah, to expand development finance in Asia and Pacific to increase flow of private sector investment. India was terminated by US from availing benefit of generalized system of preferences. We have already gone through this news. Israel has signed uh, with Indian Air Force 300 crore deal to supply more than 100 spice bomb. Balakot bomb basically. Sukuba, Japan, that's where 20, G20 ministerial meeting on trade and digital, digital economy was held. Try these. Okay. And this uh, Sukuba, Japan ministerial meeting was attended by Piyush Goel. 
Kazakh India Investment Forum, Ahmedabad, Fukuoka, Japan, that's where the finance minister and central bank governor meeting held, so definitely finance minister would have attended it. Uh, India is the country which has extended financial aid of 1.6 billion Nepali rupees to Nepal for rebuilding earthquake affected houses in Nova Court and Gorkha district. Pakistan yeah, is the country uh, through which our import has gone down by 92% and rightly so it should go down to zero. Asia Development Bank has launched 5 billion action plan for healthy ocean and sustainable blue economies for Asia and Pacific region. Uh, Nepal is uh, country is the railway department has signed agreement with Konkan Railways Corporation of Indian Railway to uh, seeking for two 1600 horsepower demo train set. Okay, International Bank for Reconstruction and Development, yeah, is a subsidiary of the World Bank, which has collaborated with Common uh, Wealth Bank of Australia, enabling world first blockchain bond transaction using the bond. Uh, Japan and South Korea is the one to which US State Department has agreed to sell defense, defense uh, missile worth 600 million yeah because of the threat posed by the North Korea okay here are your answers World Bank has signed 250 million that's uh, 1750 uh, 1725 crore with Kerala for resilient program Rajasthan state has signed with World Bank 250 million loan agreement for state highway development project. Andhra Bank had signed a loan agreement of 328 million with World Bank for improving health services. India has signed a loan agreement of 400 million with World Bank for you know, program towards elimination of TB which kills approximately half a million people in the country. Jharkhand will receive 147 million from World Bank for improving management capacity of the urban local bodies in the state. Tripura has received 1650 crore from ADB for development of pipe water supply, underground drainage, underground sewage and scientific septage management road with payment etc. Chhattisgarh has uh, you know uh, with uh, has got ADBs has approved 350 million loan to rehabilitate to state highways and other road improvement project. Japan has decided to invest 1300 uh, sorry 13000 crore for infrastructure product projects in northeast Export Import Bank of India has signed 245 million loan to Ghana and Mozambique for agriculture and railway project. Asian Development Bank has signed an agreement with Indian Railway Finance Corporation to provide 750 million long-term financing for railway track electrification project. Yeah, so some of the loans we have seen. Try these now. Yeah, some rankings. Indian city, it was Mumbai, which was the most expensive city included in list of 20 most expensive cities in India for expatriate as its residential housing prices were the highest in the world. Hong Kong has the most cost, you know, was the most costliest city in the world as per Mercer 25th annual cost of living index. India became the low cost, the lowest solar energy producer in the world as per international renewable energy report, IRENA. Yeah, that's renewable power generation cost 2018. United States has overtook China to become India's largest good trading partner in 2018-19. 20th is the India's rank among the lists of the capital importing countries as per the Knight Frank Active Capital Report. United States has topped the list of capital importing countries as well as capital exporting countries in Knight Frank Active Capital 2019 report. China has become the largest fish producing country as per the report released by Fisheries Department. Again, China is a country with India lose its spot as the world's fastest growing economy by registering 6.3 annual growth in Jan March quarter. Yeah, we did bad. Japan has stopped the e-money transaction of you know in year 2017-18. Payment uh, Paytm Payment Bank is the organization which is set to achieve the second highest target of 501.16 crore in digital transaction for the year 2019. Uh, set by uh, Ministry of Electronic and Information Technology. Okay, try these now. Okay, here are your answers. Uh, which entity top brand, top 100 most valuable global brand ranking? That's Amazon. How much India invest, uh, amount is invested in India as FDI for year 2018? That's 42 billion. US was world's top recipient of FDI with 252 billion for the year 2018. India's rank, uh, uh, that was the rank of India as FDI recipient globally, that we are 10th. 
which country became the third largest source of FDI in India during 1718, that's uh, Netherlands. Which country has emerged as the top most uh, country to attract F Indian FDI with 52 projects, that's UK. TCS is the IT firm which has surpassed Reliance Industry Limited and become India's most valuable firm. I told you they keep changing uh, with respect to the price. Yeah. Amsterdam is the city which has topped the index and become most expensive city. Yeah. As per Mint Globe Trotter Index, 121 is the rank of Indian mobile speed as per UCLA Speed Test Global Index, April 2019. And Singapore uh, is the country which topped the World Competitive Ranking 2019 released by IMD. Okay, try these. The rank of India in the IMD World Competitive uh, Ranking, we are 43rd. Now some RBI related news. What is the leverage ratio for domestic systemically important bank DCIPS 4% other bank 3.5? Under which act payment system provider can set up and operate payment system in India? That's Payment and Settlement Act 2007. Average base rate set by RBI for NBFC and MFIs to be charged to their customer is 9.18, 9 and 18. You should, you should remember this. RBI has issued framework for setting up of financial benchmark administrator. FBI was there in your abbreviation for administrating significant benchmarks in the market of financial instrument. 4R re resolution strategy for decreasing NPA was recognition, resolution, recapitalization and reform. We should know this. Uh, number of, uh, you know, percentage of willful defaulter that has increased in nationalized bank, yeah, in the last five years to March 2019 is up to 60%. 5,000 crore distress asset fund creation is recommended by the RBI Constituted Expert Panel UK Sina for the small enterprises. Complaint management system is launched by RBI for lodging complaint against bank and NBFC on its website. Uh, Viral Acharya has resigned. We know all that sad incident. Now moving forward, some more RBI related news. Yeah, let's uh, look at the answer. What is the capital adequacy ratio for housing finance com uh, companies in March 2020? That's 13%. Uh, Rabi and Mishra was appointed executive director of RBI since it's RBI. Just know that. Uh, which organization has released the report payment and settlement? They Plumbing in the architecture of the Indian financial system, that's RBI. 71,500 crore was indulged in bank fraud in 1819, over 6,800 crore again as per RBI report. Reserve Bank of India observed Finance Literacy Week. This is interesting, June 3 to 7, 3,196. It keeps changing. This was the uh, Sovereign Gold Bond Series, 1920 first series, right? 20%, yeah. As per the revised large exposure framework, the sum of all exposure value of a bank to a single counterparty should not be greater than 20% of the bank's available eligible capital base at all time. Yeah, 1% only you should not give everything, right? 5.75% revised repo rate as per the second bi monthly policy. Now we have seen it has you know, again changed. 7% is the GDP growth rate forecasted by RBI. Again, all the forecasts be really careful. It has been very volatile. Yeah, just look at only the important ones. Don't, don't break your head over it. Even if you lose one question there because of the GDP forecast, because there are like what some 30, 40 different data and constantly changing. So I think that's uh, that would be a good call. Uh, retail inflation was recently forecasted to 3.3.1% 3 for the first half of current fiscal by again RBI. RBI data you can you can just remember. Try these. Okay. Again some more uh, related to RBI. Which organization release report benchmarking Indian payment system will provide comparative position of payment ecosystem in India relative comparative payment system. Again RBI. How many days are given uh, for the lender review to borrow account after default as per the new NPA guideline, Prudential Framework for Resolution of Stress Asset by RBI, 30. Initially, they gave zero, quashed by Supreme Court. Which organization is set to create foreign exchange trading platform for retail participant? Again, that's RBI. What is the minimum tradable amount in foreign exchange trading platform for retail participant? That's $1,000. Clearing Corporation of India Limited is the one which will set up a platform for retail participant. 21.5% is the share of e-money in Indian payment system. Uh, that, that's how it grew in 2017 as per uh, the report released by uh, RBI. So this is growth, not the total share. 421.867 billion was the Forex reserve as on 31st May 2019 as per the data by RBI. 
basic saving bank deposit account is not required to maintain minimum balance for availing additional facility like checkbook etc for not meeting ownership rule yeah that's the reason why kotak mahindra bank was penalized by 2 crore by reserve bank of india and which organization has released a report indicating overall nps stock has declined to 9.3% in march 2019 below you know rbi estimate that three risil crisil right try this okay here are your answers the revised housing loan limit for individual in metropolitan center under psl now be 35 lakhs in which city 15th finance commission of india held two day meeting with rbi and bank of uh, and with the bank and financial institution that was mumbai 13.24 is the you know percentage uh, with which the bank credit has grown in the financial year 1819 as per rbi name the indian regulatory body whose subsidiary nav venture launched nav venture fund 1 to provide support for agriculture food rural startup with capital investment of 700 crore that's nabard Which organization has released the statement titled "Payment and Settlement System in India Vision 2019-21 to Achieve High, you know, Highly Digital Cash Light Society (RBI)"? I think we've seen it already a couple of times. SIDB is the bank, yeah, a financial institution which has launched a pilot scheme for fintech non-banking financial companies. Tripura Finance Grameen Bank, yeah, is the first regional rural bank in India that was permitted by RBI to start treasury function of Tripura government and open a currency chest. 27% that's uh, the usage of debit card is not minus there this is 27% yeah uh, usage of debit card swipe on point of sale terminal has risen yeah as per again rbi data nbfc having asset over 5000 crore was directed by to appoint chief risk officer by rbi yeah all important related to rbi In, in which uh, sector bank credit grew by 18.5% to 10.55 lakh crore as per rbi that was infrastructure sector okay try some more rbi news okay here are your answers uh, the 576 two day meeting were held in chennai what is the maximum rate of service charge charged by rbi for the non chess bank branches yeah the uh, which has deposited in the modern currency chest that's rupees 8 per packet reserve bank of india is the bank which has released liquidity risk management framework for non banking financial company and core investment companies recently uh, liquidity coverage ratio is set to be introduced for all deposit taking nbfcs and non deposit taking nbfcs with asset size more than 5000 crore yeah that's their target now rbi modified the vrr Norm recently VRR stands for voluntary retention route. The new time limit of RTGS uh, settlement has increased from the earlier 4:30 to 6 p.m. Yeah, even morning I think they have reduced from 8 to 7. Yeah, uh, under which article RBI has extended the time limit of RTGS for customer? That's Section 18 of Payment and Settlement Act 2007. Uh, which of the following identity proof is to be submitted by bank to the customer who receive any benefit subsidy under DBT as per RBI? Aadhaar number has to be given. International Renewable Energy Agency, that's IRENA, yeah, has released the report titled Renewable Power Generation Cost 2018. Yeah, and we were the lowest uh, solar power generator, uh, most economical. Uh, global financial integrity is a think tank which has indicated india lost 13 billion in revenue collected due to the miss invoicing yeah now try them okay here are your answers uh, chennai tamil nadu is the place yeah okay i think uh, yeah this part we had already done here yeah and it proof i think uh, these three are the new one here Yeah, name the app launched by Bombay Stock Exchange in order to aid mutual fund distribution accelerator process that BSE Star MF. Yeah, which Indian regulatory body allows mutual fund to invest in exchange traded commodity derivative? That SEBI. Again, SEBI along with IRDAI has issued this regulatory sandbox framework for fintech startup. Okay, try these now. SEBI news. Yeah. So, which organization heads the working group formed by SEBI to review current framework of margin in future and option? That NSE Clearing Limited. SEBI has formed a working group to review current framework of margin in future and options. 
SEBI again is the one which permits stock exchange commodity derivative to, to introduce futures on commodity index indices. Yeah. Tata Mutual Fund has launched India's first mutual fund side pocketing recently to be set aside in this troubled investment in Devan Housing Finance Limited. We saw, yeah, even the state funds, etc., are facing problem. 2018 Securities and Exchange Board of India, 2018, yeah, that's the provision under which the side pocketing was allowed. Ministry of Corporate Affairs, yeah, has signed uh, with SEBI for automatic data exchange in order to raise. Uh, tackle raising instances of fraud so m yeah mca i think i talked about it in the earlier slide one crore is the highest monetary reward issued to genuine informant of insider trading as per the regulatory body sebi has said recently v ravi anshuman it was appointed part time yeah you no know, member in the security exchange board for a period of 3 years bombay stock exchange has appointed m jayshree vyas as first independent woman director first anything is important yeah, NSE was banned for six months owing to its co-location case by Market Regulator, Security and Exchange Board of India. Yeah, this is again very important news. Okay, try these. Here are your answers. Which international organization has released the report titled Renewable Power Generation Costs, International Renewable Energy Agency? We have already seen this three times. Name the think tank which has indicated India lost 13 billion revenue. Again, this is a revision, global financial integrity. Name the organization which released the report, World Investment Report. That's UNCTAD. Yeah, Federation of Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry in collaboration with Vyas Bank has released India Inbound Tourism Report. This is interesting. Yeah. Uh, Crystal is the one uh, which has released the report stating that Discom will re return to pre Uday. Yeah, that's what Ujjwal Discom Assurance Yojana level of 2.6 lakh crore by 2020. ILO is the one which has released the report Women in Business Management, the business case for change, which revealed gender diversity for uh, gender diversity is good for business and economy. International Renewable Energy Agency, that's again IRENA has released the report uh, renewal power generation cost yeah i think uh, already seen this uh, four or five times now amitabh kant is the new uh, ceo of niti ayog whose tenure is extended up to two years that's uh, up to 30th june right tapan ray is the former secretary of corporate affair who was appointed as managing director of india first financial service center again first and hence it becomes important gujarat international finance Tech City, Sanjeev Puri has been appointed the managing director of ITC after Yogeshwar Chandeveshwar. Yeah, so just he was a very popular figure. So who replaced him could also become important. Try these now. Okay, here are your answers. Which organization has estimated focus of Indian government to improve logistic and infrastructure will boost to 1 trillion in next three years? That's Federation of Indian Export Council. Now the GDP forecast I've already mentioned, you know, you have to Take it with a little pinch of salt. We'll just go through it. Yeah, GDP forecasted for fiscal year 2020 by DBS 6.8. Revised forecast uh, by Fetch. I said so many revision etc. And hence it's not uh, worth it to you know try to remember so many numbers. The the other questions should focus more on 6.6. Uh, the rate of GDP growth Jan March quarter fours according to data released by CSO. This is important. 5.8. Yeah. Name the organization which has forecasted global growth uh, in 2019 to be 2.6 from the earlier 2.9. That's World Bank. Yeah, all of them are kind of uh, down, down uh, grading the growth forecast. As per World Bank, global economic prospect, India forecasted 7.5% next to fiscal. Yeah, we know this is not going to happen. Business confidence index of fourth quarter in India is 9.10% for the financial year 2018-19 as per National Council of Applied Economic Research. This could also be asked who conducts this business confidence index. That's NCAER. GDP forecast of India for the financial year 1920 as per American multinational banking for Goldman Sachs. That's 7.2, uh, 7.3 as per IMF in 2019. Yeah, as per G20 surveillance note. Uh, 5.7 is the growth projection of Asia Pacific region as per the ADB. Yeah, some more projections, and with that, we come to an end. Okay, here we go. The answer here is OECD has reduced the global forecast to 3.2 from earlier 3.3. Indian economy projected to grow 
at 7.1 as uh, in fiscal year 2020 as per United Nations. 2.7 is you know economic growth of globe projected yeah uh, by United Nation in its world economic situation and prospect. 7.10 is growth of uh, GDP of Indian financial year 20 as per United Nation economic uh, uh, report world economic situation and prospect mid year update. Organization for Economic Operation and Development OECD full form yeah has projected India GDP growth to be 7.5 in 2020. Yeah, 6.9 is GDP forecasted for financial year 2019 as per rating agency uh, India rating and research 6.1 to 5.9 is the GDP forecast of India in the fourth quarter as per ECORAP report of SBI. Final number 7.1 GDP growth of India for financial year 2020 as per Federation of Chamber of Commerce of India uh, uh, and industry that's sorry FIKI and with that uh, we conclude again I will say don't don't uh, really uh, break your head over these numbers these in three slides you would have seen they were like somewhat at least over 50 forecasts and they are all going uh, here and there okay so with that we come to an end all i have to do is now your november update most likely i should be able to do it by tomorrow okay thank you very much keep working hard last two three days make most of it thank you very much again